When Pauline Reynolds Lewis became the chief executive of Tennant Creek's Aboriginal Alcohol Rehabilitation Service, Braddock, in 2017, she was scathing of her predecessor, Stuart Naylor, who was convicted of defrauding it. It cost Braddock our reputation, both with the community, um, both with our funding bodies. Braddock gets $4 million a year from the NT and federal governments. Now former staff have alleged Ms Reynolds Lewis, who left at the end of last year, misused the organisation's credit card. I was suspicious that many of these transactions were for Pauline's personal use. They were things like clothing, food, drinks, meals. Several former staff have also alleged the former CEO misused funds to bring out a friend from England and pay for his qualifications to work at Braddock, directed staff to drive her grandson long distances in Braddock vehicles and undertook frequent travel of no benefit to its clients. The NT police have told the ABC they are now investigating a complaint about misuse of Braddock's resources. If all was taken into an account, it would be a large sum of money. Staff allege the former CEO carried out months of gruelling and relentless bullying of a long-term worker here, Makita, in 2019. What happened to Makita was very, very wrong. Mr Makita died in a house fire in June 2019. The NT Work Health Safety Regulator has told the ABC it is aware of allegations Mr Makita was bullied at Braddock and it has started an investigation into them. The ABC put all of the financial misuse and bullying allegations to Pauline Reynolds-Lewis. She rejected them but declined to comment on the record. The former chairman of Braddock's board, David Curtis Jr., says it scrutinised all the CEO's spending and travel and saw no basis for the allegations from former staff. Former staff are calling on the Indigenous Corporation's watchdog, Oric to take over Braddock's management. Unless there is a special administration and a full investigation of all the funds the CEO spent and why, no one will ever know. Those community members uh, that are raising concerns need to provide that evidence to Oric. Braddock's board all resigned in December, along with several staff. Tennant Creek community leaders are calling on the NT and federal governments to respond, alleging the organisation is in disarray, putting vulnerable Aboriginal clients at risk. Jane Barton, ABC News.